any crew filming inside of the building. Further, the filming company is required to have professional insurance and must obtain photo waivers from any visitors they may film. With short notice, it is not possible for me to schedule a staff person to escort you on Thursday. Perhaps next time you plan on being in the area, you'll be able to give me more advance notice. But he had, what, a couple of weeks? Yes. Well, anyway, we didn't do the Mary Hill thing. So you want to talk about the visit to the museum? Well, we went to the museum, <coughs> mm -hmm. went to the second floor. Can't really explain it, but everything felt heavy. Yeah. Yeah. And so we walked around and then left. It was so heavy. Yeah. The, the year before, when Claudia and I went to Mary Hill, um, same place, mm -hmm. it almost knocked me over. And, but the interesting part of this is that uh, that's where the Romanian display is. And from Queen Mary of Romania, these were, excuse me, <coughs> the Roma gypsies. And, and, you know, of course they were very active. Mm -hmm. And, um, see, then, the, and then on the, on the bottom floor was the Native American yes. display. When I was there with Tina, um, earlier in the year, a woman named Tina, that you haven't met yet, by the way, but, because this is going to air long before Tina comes along. Um, there, there was a photo of a Native American woman, and her eyes followed her, followed Tina and me, and the visitors saw that. And so we went back, and uh, she really made this eye contact. First, I thought she wanted help. But I, I think it was more than that. It's like, a, like she wanted to, you know, give us a message of some kind. So we haven't figured out what it is. But we will. But we will, yeah. Stonehenge. We went to Stonehenge, and the layout of the structure. Yeah. It's the main circle thing, yeah. and then there's one <coughs> hole. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking. There should be two more to create a triangle. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna check and see if the original Stonehenge. Oh, they could make a noise. Think uh, uh, that the original Stonehenge. Um, we're gonna check our footage to see if there was a, a triad like that. Yeah. Everything comes in threes. Everything comes in threes. Yeah. And then uh, let's see what was. Um, we drove up the pass and down to the uh -huh. dollar store. That I had been talking about this dollar store for a year, and we got there, and it was disappointing. What a <laughs> joke! The, 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 the dollar store that I remembered wasn't there. Um, it, it, they must have changed owners or something. It was just a stupid dollar store. So, uh, just a couple, few weeks ago, I told you you got to drive to the Grand to the dollar store. Forget it. Don't go there. <laughs> no, it's no. But we went to Hot Lake. We did. <laughs> <laughs> We walked in there, and the lady was like, oh, I remember you. Yeah. And she left, and the other lady took us upstairs. Yeah. Well, well the, the, the lady that remembered us, she was starting to give a tour. So she told us to come along, right? Mm -hmm. And we didn't. We wandered off. <coughs> and uh, in hindsight, we realized that she was really worried we was going to tell talk mm -hmm. about the gold. Mm -hmm. the, the gift shop. Coffee cup. Oh, <laughs> so apparently this piano player really likes coffee, and yeah. the gift shop must have like a hundred coffee cups. Yeah, when Tammy Bauer and I was there and we moved the ghosts, all except the, the yeah. piano player, he stole uh, Tammy Bauer's coffee cups, <laughs> and so now he has a piano and a million coffee cups, <laughs> million coffee cups. And then the other lady came and she said, she said, so, I'll take you. Yeah, and so she took us upstairs. Third floor. First thing Ebony said, uh, there was this device there, and Ebony said, is that the thing <laughs> that fell down the stairs? <laughs> yeah, the little head. The little head thing. Yeah, no, that wasn't there. So we, for the very first time, we got to go upstairs. And saw the hole in the floor. The hole, and it was, what was it? The blood drain. <laughs> the blood drain, yeah. We walked out of the room and down the hall, and yeah. the owner came up and was like, I'll take you downstairs. Yeah, she, she got a little word. But uh, the, uh, the, 
was a hole. Uh, where would the it must have piped the hole down to the somewhere? Somewhere. I mean, it was gross. Um, oh yeah, and then the, the lady that took us, she was all excited because the show had mm. just aired yeah. again. Yeah, she wanted to see it. Yeah, and of course we were nice and and, and gave her and a copy. Took a copy. Yeah, it was funny, but um, what I think is so amazing is that every everybody for the I would say in a hundred mile radius, they talk about the ghosts. Mm -hmm. And this poor lady. She's like, there's no ghosts here. Well. We got rid of them except that one. Yeah. Give me your impression of the building. Of Hot Lake? Yeah. Well, we drove by, pulled in, because okay. the lake was finally steaming. It's, it's steaming a little bit, uh -huh, as you saw here a little while ago. And then I got out of the car and practically fell over. Oh, okay. I was so dizzy and lightheaded. Yeah. It's the same way, um, similar or the same as at the Mary Hill? Well, at the Mary Hill, I wasn't. Dizzy. Dizzy. Uh -huh. I literally almost fell over. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. So. Uh, but it, it, it it's uh, hard. All the windows I did replaced all the windows. The gift shop has a big hole in the floor, so if you want to pay your bill, be careful. I, I don't see how they how they let people walk around. It's a lot of I mean, it, it is. When we were in there, they had tops and stuff, but we knew it was dangerous. And there, you just uh, it, it's still dangerous. I think. And another lady said they were opening rooms in two weeks. Yeah, well, yeah. In, now here in Baker, which is 50 some miles away, that's where we heard that they were opening up the rooms in Hot Lake. Yeah. Everybody talks about it. Yeah, I wouldn't stay there. And the lady at Hot Lake was Julie. It, right. We met another Julie. It, the next, the uh, next haunted place we went to was the Union. Union Hotel. Union Hotel. We intended to stay there for the night. But there was another jewelry. Mm -hmm. We didn't like it there. No. Yeah. Yeah. That same heavy. Heavy. Building looked crooked to me. Yeah. Yeah. So we decided not to go crooked. So we went to powder. We went to powder to the hotel where I got burned for my UFO encounter. And that was nice. Was nice. The picture was crooked when we got up. Oh yeah, we went to sleep and woke up. The, the, <coughs> the picture was crooked. It was crooked, uh -huh. but, but it was nice, huh? It was nice. And then we went to Baker. Baker. Grand Geyser Hotel, mm -hmm. which reminded me of the Titanic. Yeah, it's beautiful, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And they were happy to get. The, we hand carried their tapes, and they turned us loose and said go. So we got to go everywhere, huh? And then we went. Back to Haynes right. to the little park. <coughs> yes, I, uh, met another Julie. Uh huh. And she was talking about the ghost of the Hot Lake. Yes, and she owns Eastern Oregon Museum. Yeah. And she was talking for the longest time. Yeah. And somebody made you. Uh, yes, her uh -huh. husband made me a leprechaun boot out of a dollar. Yeah. Put us in the park. Really cool. And so we left, headed back to La Grande mm -hmm. in Union, and I decided all the Julies are connected to Hot Lake. And they are, in the hotel that we are today, on the original Hot Lake thing, um, before we went into the building, uh, there was uh, this hotel that had displayed pictures of the people that were at Hot Lake in the 1800s. Mm -hmm. And so we went right down the line and called the hotel, and that's where we are. We have yeah. the hotel that has all the pictures of the, well, in the in the snake bar there has pictures of the women in Hot Lake. Yeah, and then we went to the Dollar Tree and it was nice, huh? Yeah, the Dollar Tree was nice. Yeah, but forget that Dollar Store. <laughs> I lied. And <coughs> so tomorrow morning we're going to uh, continue to uh, we're going to go for Yakima and come back a different way. So in an intuitive way so far, what have you gotten out of this part of the journey? What have I gotten out of it? Uh-huh. Couldn't tell you right now. Okay. And well we have to double back and finish this. So in your opinion, what's the difference between a trip and a journey? Well a trip is okay, you have your mind set on one thing. Uh-huh. And you go for it. The journey is like you go, 
stop and actually examine what you have. Yeah. So which which one do you prefer? Oh, a journey is fun. A journey is fun. You meet more people. Yeah, and they were all pretty friendly. Yeah. So tomorrow we're gonna go, uh, like I said, the other way, and then before the show is over, we're gonna go and summarize that. Huh? Mm -hmm. <coughs> so we are snazzy, phot snazzy photography. We are tired, huh? Yeah. So we'll give you a few more things here in between, and then we'll be back. Okay. Until next time. Till later. Yeah. Okay. 